we all have days where things don't go quite according to plan or we haven't got a clear idea in our heads of what we want to do. Um, so I've, I've scrapped these, they weren't going anywhere, they're just, just turning into mud. So they weren't good enough to upload so I, I'm going to keep that to paint an acrylic over at some stage. So don't throw your watercolour, your failed, failed watercolours away. Use them for acrylics or oil, knife painting, anything you like. But it's good, it's good paper, so don't waste it. Just because we fail with a watercolour doesn't mean to say that it won't live again as uh, something else. Right, okay, so I like uh, mountains and rocky scenes, rocky shores. So I'm going to do another one. I'll make no apology for it. Uh, we, 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 it's all practice. I, I hopefully get better as well with the practice. But one of these days I'm going to do an oil painting. Probably on hardboard. But Venice. Or Venetian backwater working from Antoine Bouvard. Uh, I did loads of them uh, 15 years ago, 16 years ago. There's about 100. And they're great, great practice, all the buildings and all the flowers that climb up. And the, the windows were a nightmare. But they were only impressions, and the rougher the better, really. But I've got quite a few of those about. Uh, not, not in my possession, but in other people's possessions. Right, so I'm going to wet the paper all over. Let's see if I have better luck with this one. We, we all have uh, bad days, and you don't normally see the, the really bad ones. And of course, even I am embarrassed by, would be embarrassed by them if they weren't to a certain standard. You know what I mean? Let's get that nice and, nice and wet. The board is about 85 degrees, I would think, to the vertical. So. Right, I'm going to put in a sienna, burnt sienna, burnt sienna, raw sienna, a bit of alizarin. It'll run down the page, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put water in here, like a, a burn or... Not, not a lock on, this is sort of a glen. Well, it'll be whatever it <laughs> ends, out, ends up. Right, a bit of ultramarine. And a bit of light red. Palette is, is lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint spray and burnt sienna. Just me click that. No need to stretch your paper. Just, just me clip it and take off the excess moisture as it, if you paint this high or vertical, just take off the excess. So I'm mixing a bit of, bit of light red and a bit of, bit of ultramarine, maybe a bit of alizarin as well. You don't need to labour your your sky is a bit of a bit of a cloud. It's just a darker mix of those colours, really. I've never really been convinced with um, blotting out the clouds. I'd rather paint them like that. Stephen Cronin does all right with them, but it's not my favourite technique. I used to do it, but, but like lifting out with rocks, it, uh, you can overdo it. Now let's just come up here with a 
some hills. Coming down here. And then we'll have a different, darker, more brooding. Get some lemon yellow in there. So you could nice greens, palette green, just with the the blue on the brush really. And very bit of sienna in there. the brush splits as it will just re-clip it oh it's a re-clip it just tap it and drag it through the, the some down and it should come back together more or less I'm having trouble with it, all the hakes I've bought them recently they're, they're bound into this ferrule with uh, in, in clumps look uh, and they and they separate you can see the clumps all along here you need a cloth when you do this to take off the excess moisture from your from your hake. And let's um, put in a bit of oil, burnt sienna with that yellow. That gets in some nice bank foreground. A bit of a, a bit of a warmer green with the ultramarine rather than the Payne's grey. So we'll add a bit of detail in here. So we've got different sort of planes coming in, shadow areas. This will all dry lighter than putting it on. Can end up like. And we'll come along with some warmer landscapes, warmer hill. Sienna mixed with the ultramarine. Just clip this. Right, that's almost flat. Right, there we are. That's nice and nice and flat. Get some heavier stuff here and there. So that's my burnt sienna with my ultramarine. A great mix, those two colours. And if you add lemon yellow so that you get a lovely range of greens. But remember that when you, you're painting wet in wet, if you want something to register, you've got to put it in almost tube consistency. What I tried to do earlier, but just didn't really come off. Right, just 
doing a sort of beat here. Good pain's crying. There. So it's sort of watery, boggy. Landscape, I'll mix a bit of red, a bit of nice warm colours. And I can paint into this as it dries with a with a rigger. I like quite like that. See those lovely colours? So we've got the light sort of shining this side, but really the cloud should be above there, but Do something about that. Uh, it's, it's not heavy enough. Another plane in there. Right. Don't like the way that's clumping there. So I'll put some uh, texture in the other on, the, on this here. I get too carried away. I'm going to just put some darks in there. That's about it. Right, nice rich foreground now. So, a bit of paint's grey, a bit of sienna. I don't know if you can see down there, are they? the other side. Oh. Right, let's etch out some some rock. We can do that here. Sure, a bit bigger as we get into the foreground. So a bit of sort of scree type. Anything that just makes a little bit of interest without using a brush. Right, okay, that, that's all right. So we've got the shadow coming through here, but the light from here is going through the picture. I can. Uh, I'll dry brush over some of this. Right, let's uh, start putting a bit of texture in, in this area here. So we want nice rich greens. See, my paint is uh, not dry. I don't know if it's dry, but it's still tube consistency.
try and get some interesting texture. I try not to repeat myself too much, but I mean with the brush, that is not with what I say. More lovely rugby to watch tonight. Love rugby. Used to play. Very low level though. So dry now. It doesn't want to do this. Just a little bit of texture. Oh, it takes a just a bit of shrub, shrubby stuff. Finish that off with the rigger. Bit, so a lot of bleach, bleach dead wood in, in close to rivers and uh, oh, it's quite quite delicate isn't it? Let's, let's, let's dispense with that a hake for a minute and see what we can do with this rigger. Take your headphones off because I'm going to just draw out the foreground. Headphones off. I might even try a bit, bit, bit of a broken twig. above, bring down, it just says reflection, just want to put a bit of detail in the uh, shoreline here, oh, some artists see, put salt on it, makes a uh, Little white grains in your washes, all sorts of things you can use. Corrugated cardboard, nice little stencil, well, not stencil, but to, um, impress or into the paint, get, get through patterns. There's no limit to what you can do with this sort of bit of watercolour, well, in any medium really. Rigger does so much. Put some darks in there. No! Put a bit of a paint spray on and lift it off the tube. Put some nice dark in there.
just a little bit of detail on the beach here. Something. Really lovely doing this texture. <coughs> Brings it to life. Oh, dark glances of light in the foreground here. That's in the sort of a bit of shadow. Straight up here. No, which is better than the mess I did earlier. Uh, it's so frustrating. You try to do a masterpiece every time, which is the problem. Oh, I've never put much detail in there. <coughs> uh, right, uh, could we put a figure in? Find a little brush. To put a figure. That, that, that one. do it in sort of grey. I really didn't know what to do today, as a, as a painting anyway. Let's put in a figure. Just a fetch in there. Gives a, an opportunity to uh, put a reflection in. Okay, just standing. This actually, they shouldn't. They should be standing or something, shouldn't they? A bit. Right, I've got to stand on there. Um, put a boat in. Okay, I think that's about all I'm going to do on that one. Birds in this, this blue signature. Can we sign your work? Okay. Could put some dry brush in. I'll just dry that off. Hold your ears. All right. So some just a bit of background colour there. Just palette grey, really. 
Right, okay. That will do. Let's put it in the mount. Uh, I suppose it's got a bit of blue mount, isn't it? So I haven't entirely wasted my, my bit of painting day. It's not, I'm quite pleased with that actually. Let's uh, bring it down. Alright, well it's quite a gentle sort of painting. Uh, seems to have lost the, uh, the, the landscape there, but uh, if I try to alter that now, it'll go wrong. So I'm going to leave it so so I assume that that bit there is a bit of the mountain behind dropping down, going up there, lost in that cloud. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.